I have a nice body, I have to admit, but I am so critical of it. I find myself always seeking to perfect it. For example, to lose that five to 10 pounds, to get rid of a small imperfections, but it's never good enough. Why do I seem to be so obsessed with my body in critical ways? Okay, so you get that probably listening, you can hear in the question, the answer. If you're obsessed with your body in critical ways, then it means that you are definitely aligned with the ego, the ego, the voice of separation. It's not seeing your physical body as the way to get you from place to place to carry your divinity from place to place and synchronistically arrive at all the wonderful things that are of your heart's desire and be able to experience the connectivity of life. If you're critical of your physical body, then you're thinking of it more of as a, uh, as a hollow shell that, that doesn't have a deeper purpose. And to feel critical of it is sort of a trajectory that's tough to get off. Once you start thinking critical thoughts about your body, then you're on that judgmental trajectory and it's gonna be pretty difficult to convince yourself otherwise. Instead, I'll give you the antidote, more powerful than the question of, about why it's happening, is it's the ego. Short and sweet, it's the ego doing this with you. And it's because you're identified with the ego. The body is the vehicle of the ego as far as separation goes. The body is the vehicle of the divine as far as our capacity to connect to life and, and more and more further graces and, the, and embody the miraculous in ways unseen before this. So the soul has a completely different agenda than the ego for the body. The ego will use it to tell you, get this, get that, um, you know, conquer this, grab that, covet this which are all ideas based on fear and separation. So whenever you're feeling that you're, you can't get enough and you're so obsessed with your physical body, it's because your ego is running the show. Most important to notice that because how else do you get on a, a true spiritual path unless you know you're way off? And so if you feel that discontented, it's the same reason why I wound up in the bookstore when I was modeling and things. I felt really critical of myself. I, you know, it was my, how I worked. So I was constantly, critical of my physical body and and critical of of all the things that my physical body wasn't doing good enough once i started aligning with the soul and started to hear this new voice come up you know i am not a body i am free for i am still as god created me and then over and over and over telling me how beautiful i am how precious i am what a holy divine being i am when i started to align with those identifications more than the part of me that was just physical, solely physical, then the criticism just can't stand up to that after a while. When you start going inward with meditation, you start going inward for your identification, you're going to find yourself really liking your body a lot more for the things that it affords you to do and the encounters it allows you to have. You'll start to see that there'll be people that just appreciate you so much and you know you can see they're seeing you they're seeing something more in you than than just a physical body it's not that covetous kind of energy that still breeds separation it's a connectivity that the body just allows for you to experience and appreciate on earth so Definitely know that, that if you're having challenges with your identification and obsessed about fixing and criticizing your body, it's the ego versus the soul. That's not the blissful orientation.